So here we have 129 Cornmill Crescent in the highly popular village of Alfington, also a suburb on the outskirts of Exeter, offering good links to the major road network, city of Exeter, and all local amenities, including the large Marsh Barton Business Park. The properties are three bed semi-detached in good order with driveway parking leading to a garage and a nice westerly facing rear garden. So I'll just take you in to show you the property. Coming in through the front door, we come into this enclosed entrance porchway, small entrance porch with windows to side and front and further UPVC door to the entrance hallway. So I'll show you the entrance. From the hallway. entrance porch, we come into the entrance hallway. As you can see, stairs to first floor, radiator. Just another look back through to the porch and double doors that lead through to the living room. So I'll show Coming you. Coming into the living room, nice, light and spacious room with UPVC window to front, radiator, feature fireplace with fitted gas fire, TV and telephone points, and archway that leads through to the dining room. So I'll just show you the dining room. So here we have the dining room, nice size with radiator, door leading through to the kitchen, a tilt and slide UPVC patio door that leads out to the conservatory. There's plenty of room for table and cabinet. So I'll just show you the kitchen. Have. The kitchen to the rear of the property with window overlooking the conservatory. Fitted kitchen in light wood effect finish with integral double oven, electric oven and gas hob, space and plumbing for washing machine and dishwasher and further appliance space which currently has an under counter fridge. There's a UPVC stable double to the side and double doors here open through to quite a nice deep larder come under stair storage cupboard. So now off from the dining room we come through to this nice sized conservatory. It's a UPVC constructed conservatory on a brick plinth with lights and power and heating. You've got doors to sides and rear and French doors that lead out to the garden. So coming up onto the first floor landing, nice light and spacious landing with UPVC window to side, hatch to loft space and doors to bedrooms and bathroom. So I'll show you bedroom we one. Bedroom one, located at the front of the property with large UPVC window. There's a range of quality fitted bedroom furniture in here, comprising of drawer units, vanity, bedside cabinets, wardrobes, and overhead storage. Also a radiator. Nice size room. So now I'll bedroom show you. Two that. is located to the rear of the property. Again, a nice size double bedroom with large UPVC window to rear, radiator, and in the corner here. Behind the door is a good size storage cupboard. 
complete with hanging rail and shelving. So now I'll show you so bedroom. Here we have bedroom three. This is a single size bedroom with window to front. Space for a single bed or could easily be used as a study stroke office. And around here, this door that leads into an overstair wardrobe stroke storage cupboard. So now I'll show you the bath. bathroom located to the rear of the property. Nice and modern with model, modern tiling, UPVC window to rear, modern white suite, low level WC, pedestal hand wash basin and bath with electric shower over. And also there's an extractor fan and radiator. So now I'll show you. Here we have the garage, solid UPVC door leading into the garage area, the window to rear, hatch to loft space, a little bit of a worktop with lights and power, and around the end is an up and open door to the front. So now I'll show you the garden. So coming out through the French doors, we come into the rear garden. Slightly irregular shaped garden with raised beds, edging, graveled garden area, and paved patio to the rear. I think if you were to take away the beds You'd have quite a nice size garden and down to the side is a pathway that leads down to gated access to the front there's a side door into the garage and a side door into the kitchen so the property is being marketed by west of x estate agents and for more information if you visit our website www.westofx.co.uk